All right, Shaholic fam, well, welcome back to another episode. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, we just launched the kayak here in Sebastian, Florida, a little after sunrise. And uh, this is my third time ever fishing this area. And uh, the first and second time I fished here, I made videos of that. And uh, if you haven't seen them, I'll link them down in the description or on the screen somewhere here. And on our first day exploring this area, I was actually really surprised with how well we did. We got on a bite of flounder, trout, and snook. Uh, saw one redfish but couldn't catch one and uh, I did hook into one big snook that was 30 something plus inches probably and it ate our mullet right at the kayak and I saw everything go down and we had it on for like 20-30 seconds and uh, the hook pulled. So that was like a heartbreaker right there so uh, it motivated me to come right back the next day and uh, I got two big snook to eat the spook that day and they both threw the hooks. So uh, today is like a redemption day in this spot to see if we can hook a big snook and uh, get it in the kayak. So that's my ultimate goal, but uh, of course we're just gonna just see if we can get on a bite of uh, whatever else is willing to bite. And also we're working our way north now. So uh, I left Palm City, Stewart, Florida, where I live uh, around 4 a.m. to get here to Sebastian to fish. And after fishing here today, we're gonna head up to Jacksonville or Savannah to fish tomorrow. I'm not really sure yet, still working out the details. And then uh, go up to Charleston for a couple days, fish there, and then eventually make it up to Jersey where I'm gonna visit some family there and also do some fishing and filming for a few days and uh, just see if we can uh, get on a, a bite wherever we go. So uh, if you uh, aren't subscribed, be sure to hit, hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for uh, future uploads and also stay tuned for this video. I'm gonna beeline it to our first spot and uh, see if we can get on a top water bite before uh, it gets too late. So I'll see you guys there. Let's catch them. Well, we made it to our first spot off this island here. And uh, the tide should be just about starting to go out. And uh, to start, I'm gonna try tossing around this uh, Berkeley Walker 120, I think it's called. I just uh, picked it up yesterday because I thought it looked really good. Or actually, I picked up uh, two of them. So this one has like a striped mullet pattern on it. This one is kind of just, you know, like a silvery flashy side to it. Uh, but we've also got this Yozuri Hydra Pencil. So we'll probably try throwing them all and uh, hopefully we'll uh, get a bite on them. I'm gonna start casting and working around uh, to the west side of this island. The wind is uh, supposed to kick up out of uh, like the northeast or east today. So if we hit the, the west side, we'll have some shelter. And uh, yeah, we got some nice current just flowing right by this point. Yeah, there could be something just sitting right here in this little rip. Well, we just fished uh, for about an hour and a half along the entire western shoreline of this island and we fished all the way to the northernmost point of the island and uh, not a single bite. Uh, so it's a little discouraging, but uh, we're gonna fish it again working south all, all the way to like where we started and uh, hopefully we get uh, at least one fish to eat, uh, but if not then uh, I'm thinking about possibly catching some mullet because I'm seeing a lot of mullet jump around and uh, we did actually see one snook blow up, but it looked like a small one. But uh, maybe if we get some mullets, uh, that'll change the game for us. But uh, let's keep at it. That was a lot of stuff right there. And I think I even saw like a big snook. Not really sure though.
there's a big snook see that that was like a 40 incher absolute monster oh dang it I, I knew i should have stayed further out but i casted through this entire cove before when we were going north and uh, i didn't have a single bite so i figured i needed to come in here to investigate to see if they were actually fishing here and there are oh another big snook that one i presented the plug right over him and he didn't even think about eating it Come on, fish. I just want to get one at least this morning. All right, well, unfortunately, we got some weather coming through right now. So I'm going to try pulling into the mangroves there so we can get out of the rain and the wind. like pulling into the garage <laughs> hopefully it'll keep me a little dry well this is uh florida weather for you it uh said only like 20 30 percent chance of rain and then i just looked right before the storm was like on top of me and uh it said 80 <laughs> it's 100 percent chance of rain now <laughs> ah dang all right, well, 20 minutes later and finally the rain has subsided. But it brought with it a lot more wind. All right, well, uh, since we didn't have any bites on this, let's... Uh, try making a lure change being that we've got uh, some different conditions now and uh, with the more wind that we have I think this uh, bigger heavier spook will work a little bit better all right I'm gonna try this for like 20 30 minutes uh, let's see what happens Took about like uh, three, four dozen casts and still no bites. So let's see if we can get some mullet. out the cast net nothing all right well I've tried all right unfortunately I can't find any mullet here so I'm gonna try uh, elsewhere. Hmm, got one little Mahara, or no, some type of shad. It looks like, doesn't look like a greenie. Maybe a pilchard? Hmm. Not really sure. I'm gonna throw this guy in the bucket. <sighs> Looks like I got some Maharas in the net on that toss, which is good. Well, it's been about 30 minutes trying to uh, catch some mullet and uh, 
I don't know where they all went, but uh, we can't find any. Uh, before the storm, they were all over the place, and uh, now it just seems like they've vacated the area. So all we caught with the cast net uh, were a couple of Maharas and uh, the one little shad thing that we caught first. So uh, we'll probably use them for bait, uh, but I, 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 I kind of want to work the area hard with uh, like a small little soft plastic first. So let's uh, give that a try. All right, so on this setup, I've got a fresh 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I've got some of these new little paddle tails from Hyperlastics by Patrick Sabeel. And uh, I kind of want to give them a try. And it comes with a little jig head in here. And uh, being that this water is pretty murky, uh, I'm gonna go with this color here, which I think will stand out uh, pretty well. That looks pretty good. Let's start working the mangroves. Oh, just had a bite. Hmm. The water's getting a little clear right here. So I'm gonna try switching to a different color. Got this color right here, which uh, kind of looks like a little like glass minnow. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of this snook. Probably the smallest snook that I've ever caught. Look at that trophy. <laughs> We've got a long way to go for today. There's one. Oh, I missed him. That was uh, probably about like a 18 inch snook. Got a big snook right here cruising in front of me. Come on, eat it, eat it. I'm gonna take off the little swim bait and uh, put on just a circle hook and see if I could pitch a bait to him and maybe he'll eat it. I'm gonna try this little guy. <laughs> Looks like a fish right up here in front of me. Or maybe a couple fish, I'm not sure. Wow, they did not eat the bait. That's crazy, I think there was, it looked like one big one, but it was like two medium sized ones. Just got eight. Fish on. Not a big one, but it's a start. Oh, 
quick release right there. There's another one. Crazy jump. Woo! Haha, <laughs> two points. It's funny how some snooks just like love to go airborne. Like no matter what you do, they just fly. And the cool thing is, is I actually saw this guy follow it out but he missed it or I pulled it out of the water too soon. So then I just threw it right back in the area where I saw him and he found it again and uh, crushed it. There he goes. Oh, there was a bunch of mullet right there. They went down though. There was a bunch. Oh, and I got a few. Nice. Big snook candy right there. Oh yeah. We are in business. All right, so now that we got some big fresh baits, I'm gonna cut off uh, this leader and this uh, hydro pencil. I'm gonna put on a fresh 40 pound leader, probably like three to four feet of it. And then tie on a four out or five aught uh, mustad circle hook. Yeah, I think that'll do. Oh, just got eight. There he is. Oh my gosh, what do we have here? It saw the mangroves and it booked it away from it, which is kind of strange. Nope, stay out of there. Good fish, whatever it is. Oh yeah, it's a nice snook. That was a weird fight. Oh, she's barely hooked, yeah! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. All right. So far, that's uh, the biggest one of the day for us. And man, did we have to work for it. And this fish is about 28 and a half. Circle hook right in the top of the mouth. And I'm gonna bring her back closer to the mangroves and we'll send her on home. 
And unfortunately, my uh, rudder got damaged uh, in like the last like 30 minutes or so. So uh, I gotta fix that when we get back to shore, but I'm using my paddles and my pedals so I can, you know, move along. All right, all right, one last look. There she goes. All right, I got one last bait left. So uh, we went through four and uh, didn't have a single bite. And on the fifth one, we finally got uh, a hard thump. All right, catch me a giant. My bait is out there sitting. I'm just gonna take a cast with the little uh, Elastec swim bait. I'm gonna hit that same shadow line that we got the first snook, or the first snook on the mullet on. Just got eight. Oh no, I lost them. Oh dang, we pulled the hook on that one. Oh uh, well, that hurt losing that last one. But uh, it was my fault. <laughs> I put the, my bait rod down. I should have just kept it in my hand and waited, but uh, I had to pick up that rod to cast around the swim bait for a little bit. And uh, I didn't think we were gonna get hit that quick. Uh, we only had our second bait out there for like five, 10 more minutes. And uh, the fish hit it and ran all the way up in the mangroves like really quick. And uh, it did rip out some drag, but uh, I don't think it was too big of a fish. If it was a big fish, I think he would have ate that bait in one bite and we would have been able to get a hook in him. But uh, a smaller snook will eat it and run it with it and uh, they won't be able to eat the whole thing so then you you know try to come tight on them and um you know the hook just pulls out of the the lips of the mullet but uh all in all it uh was a really tough day but uh i'm still happy that i came out uh i learned a lot especially about this little spot here uh, right on the tip of the island uh you know getting those two bites really quick on a live mullet uh is gonna be good knowledge to have up here for next time and uh, the 28 and a half incher was nice uh, to end the day with. Uh, I was hoping for something like 35 plus or 40 inches or plus maybe. And uh, I did see, you know, a couple fish earlier when we were throwing the spook that we spooked. Uh, and uh, they had to have been at least like 39, 40, maybe 40 plus. Like they were monstrous snook. And uh, I will definitely be back to uh, pick apart this area more and more. So uh, if you guys want to see that or if you are, uh, you know, looking forward to some of my other uploads coming soon, uh, being I'm going up north, uh, definitely just smash the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button. And uh, I would stay out here longer, but uh, it's 6.30. I want to have time to go back and see what's uh, going on with the rudder. I already took a look at it and I, I think uh, I could fix it uh, possibly if I have what I think I have in my car. If I forgot to pack it, then uh, I'm gonna have to run to a hardware store or something to get the tools to, to do it. But uh, I wanna be ready for uh, our other fishing missions uh, in the next few days. So uh, anyway, I can go on and on. Uh, but uh, thank you so much for watching and until the next video, live to fish, fish to live. All right, well, in case you cared, I fixed the rudder. It wasn't uh, that hard of a fix, but a uh, huge shout out to Steve, who is a fan of the channel and uh, lent me this or gave it to me to uh, help uh, remove uh, the one screw that I needed to and a uh, hundred pound mono in place of uh, the power cord that was there uh, is working well. So uh, we're ready to uh, continue our journey north and uh, keep fishing. So uh, I'll see you guys at the next spot.